like a masterful work of art. Real Foot Lake has the power to humble the heart and serenade the soul. There's a magnificent peace. It's so peaceful, but there's a magnificent that just puts you in awe. You're amazed at the beauty and the simplicity of the beauty. But sometimes you have to go through a little mayhem. Hey, I put water all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> before you can find that peace. We went on a field trip and we came here. It's pretty fun now. I'm a homeschooler and our outdoor classroom comes out here once a year. Armed with enthusiasm and curiosity, this paddle-powered flotilla makes its way toward open water. And a part-time Real Foot resident, the American White Pelican. They're magnificent, they're huge, they're beautiful. And they're back. Before it was banned for agricultural use in 1972, the pesticide DDT had a devastating effect on Realfoot's wildlife, including the pelicans. Folks who grew up around here remember seeing a lone pelican passing through every year. But slowly the lake began to heal. Then around 2009... They started slowly coming back and then more came, and now we're seeing hundreds of white pelicans come through this area. The pelicans spend their summers in the northern United States and Canada, where they breed, and migrate south to the Gulf Coast, Mexico, and Central America for the winter, stopping at Real Foot Lake State Park along the way. Why did they stop here? Does anybody know? Would y'all be tired if y'all had flown all the way from Canada to Tennessee? Would you be tired if you ran? Yeah, <laughs> that is a lot of work for them to fly all the way down the Mississippi Flyway to here to Tennessee. So when they get here, they have a place to rest, they have a place to eat, they sit on the logs, and they just sleep. Sleepy pelicans are a little more laid back, making it easier to see them up close. They were pretty cool and big. It's really cool just being able to see them in their natural habitat. But even sleepy birds will be sure you don't get too near. I wish we could have got closer to them, but they flew away. I thought pelicans mostly lived down south where beaches were. When I heard that they were up here, I was really surprised and I wanted to come see them. Just big, beautiful creatures God created. Fly around a lot, really graceful. The pelicans start showing up at Realfoot sometime in September and can usually be found there until early November. They become so popular that every October the park hosts a pelican festival to celebrate their visit. We'll have face painting and caramel apples in the popcorn and pontoon tours and canoe trips and kayak trips all weekend, morning and evening. Weather plays a big role in the birds' decision to stop here and how long they'll stay. So while there's no guarantee that they'll be here, if you make the trip, there's always something to see and do. We went to go see some eagles. We seen some snakes, a tarantula. We got to pet an owl. You can have lots of fun just doing simple things. With or without a canoe, you could have a blast. You can get closer to nature. Another great thing about coming to Real Foot in the fall are these awesome cypress trees. They're actually deciduous conifers, which means every fall, they drop their needles in a brilliant display of color. They got a lot of knobby knees. Nobody really knows why. They've got very uh, different leaves than most other trees. Probably in about a month, they'll be pretty bare like skeletons, but they're really important to the swamp. Just as the trees are important to the lake and swamps, this whole place, lake, swamps, trees, and wildlife, is important to people and especially to these students. It feels good to actually see it in person, because when you see it in a book, you don't think it's really that big. When you actually see it, it's bigger than I thought it was. They're able to see, touch, feel, hear. They're able to absorb better because they've got the hands on. They're right involved in it. They're not just reading out of a book about it. They're here. While some might take that hands-on approach to the extreme. Yeah, we tipped over. Oh. <laughs> Trying to go too fast. <laughs> no. 
Oh, so cold. Oh. Every part of what is experienced at this lake will have a lasting effect on those taking part in this wild adventure. I want you to think, what if I was a pelican and you're resting and you're tired because you have got the same length to go down to Florida still. You still got a long trip. So for one minute, I'm not going to talk and you're not going to talk and I want you to sit and I want you to listen and I want you to look all around you, okay? I don't know how to describe it. It's just an awesome feeling being out in the nature on Real Foot Lake. All these canoes and kayaks today fulfilled a vision that we've had. We want to get these children out in nature so that they can come and just enjoy it for the peace that it brings them. As they grow, they can just get out here and spend time with the wildlife and nature. Maybe they'll even bring their kids someday and tell them how they paddled or swam with the pelicans. I think it's pretty fun. I like to come back eventually. Maybe it warms up a little more. I'm Ken Tucker on the wild side.